Hi guys, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making two delicious recipes that require very minimal cooking because I know it is so hot out right now and the last thing that I want to do is cook and I think the last thing that you guys want to do is cook too. So for these recipes, it just requires cooking one thing on the stove for like, for like 10 minutes, not a lot of time at all. So they're really easy to make. They're really, really delicious. I am obsessed with the mango poke bowl oh my goodness it came out so good it was delicious and the pasta salad is amazing too but the poke bowl is definitely my favorite so with all that being said let's get into our recipes the first thing we're doing is cooking half a bag of pasta and you can use any pasta you like gluten-free pasta bean pasta regular pasta whatever you like to use then i am taking half a block of tofu and cutting that up into smaller cubes we're making a tofu feta with this, so I found the smaller cubes were kind of the best size, but you can cut them as big or as little as you like. Then I'm putting them into a container and I'm going to add on some red wine vinegar, a little bit of oregano, some salt, and finally some garlic powder that exploded everywhere when I opened it. And I'm just mixing that all together. You want to let this sit for at least a half hour, but the longer you let it sit, the more the tofu is going to absorb the red wine vinegar. And I just added a little extra on top just to make sure everything had a nice coating of it on there. Then I took half a cucumber and cut that up into slices. You can again, cut them into little cubes. You can keep them big, you can keep them round. It's just, it's totally up to your discretion. Then I cut up some red onion. Then I cut up some tomato, which I cut into big kind of chunks. Next, we're gonna make a dressing. So I'm adding some lemon juice, a bunch of red wine vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some vegan cream cheese, or you can use tahini some oregano and salt and mixing that up all together. And I like adding the vegan cream cheese in there because it makes it creamy. And those extra little bits that kind of like don't break down, I kind of like because they add to the flavor of everything. So then I'm going to take my cooked pasta, my onion, my cucumber, and then um, my tofu feta. I also had some black olives. I meant to buy Kalamata, but I forgot. And my tomatoes. And then I'm adding some of my dressing on and we're just going to mix that up. I really should have used a bigger bowl for this, but I didn't and we were here, so whatever. And I'm just mixing it all up, making sure everything is coated evenly in the dressing. And this is it. You can eat it like this or you could let it sit for a little bit. The longer you let it sit, the more flavor you're going to get. When you're ready to serve, I just chopped it with some parsley and some slices of lemon just to make it look pretty. You don't have to do this, but I think it adds a nice touch. And this is it, our completed pasta salad. So easy, so delicious and perfect for this hot weather. To start this recipe off, we are going to cook some sushi rice. So I'm taking some water and some sushi rice that I rinsed and drained, and we're just gonna cook that. It's very easy. You just have to bring it to a boil, then cover it for 15 minutes. Then I'm using the honey mangoes, and I am peeling them, peeling the skin off of them using the back of my knife. I like these mangoes a little bit better for this because of the texture that they have and they're a little bit sweeter but I feel like they just have a better texture for this so I took it and cut the two halves off and then I cut it into slices and I cut that into half and this was really delicious. I actually really like the texture of this also to replace a fishy texture. I don't know, it worked really well in my opinion. Then into the container, we're going to put the mango chunks and I'm sprinkling it with a little bit of sesame oil, some soy sauce, and a little apple cider vinegar. Ideally, you'd want to use rice vinegar, but I didn't have any. And then I'm just tossing it around and we're going to put this in the fridge for at least a half hour or longer. Then I'm just going to make my toppings for the bowl. So I made some cucumber ribbons. I can make little cucumber scrolls. I just did that by using my vegetable peeler. Super easy to do this. Then I cut up some carrots into thin little match sticks. You could also just buy the shredded carrots at the food store if you want to do that, but I just figured I would cut them up, whatever, not a big deal. 
Then I took half of an avocado. This isn't the best looking avocado inside, but the pit was really small, so that's a win. And I just peeled the skin off of there and then I sliced it up. Then I took some frozen edamame and let those thaw. And now we can assemble our bowl. So I'm adding my sushi rice in there. Then I'm gonna add in the edamame. Then we're adding in the carrots. Then I added some red cabbage. I know that's not traditional, but I think it looks really pretty in there. It brings a nice color in. Then I added my cucumber scrolls. My avocado. We're adding in that mango that we marinated. And I took some of the extra juice and just poured it on there. And then I sprinkled some sesame seeds, white and black ones to be extra fancy. And that was it. This was so delicious. I'm. This is gonna be my favorite meal of the summer. I can tell already. All right, guys, those were our two recipes. What did you think? I hope you enjoyed them. As always, the full recipes will be down below in the description box. There's a link to my blog post. There's also substitutions in the blog post if you need to make it soy-free or whatever, depending on certain dietary restrictions and needs. So yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. I try to make videos every Wednesday and Sunday though, so keep an eye out for them. Thank you guys so much. We hit 4,000 subscribers, which is awesome. I am so excited. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.